This is the Shure Motive MV88 iOS Digital Stereo Condenser Microphone. Hi, Dan from Gear Diary. I have a really nice Sony mirrorless camera which shoots great pictures, it does great video, um, and yet when I went to CS 2016, I ended up not bringing it. The reason for that is really quite simple. The iPhone 6 Plus takes great pictures and it shoots fabulous video. So I really found that I didn't want the extra bulk of the camera. I'm using my iPhone more than ever. The downside of shooting video with the iPhone is that the audio quality still isn't great. It, it's passable, but it's not great. So you end up wanting to use an external microphone if you're shooting video with your iPhone. Now at CES 2016, I either put a uh, lapel mic on the person I was talking to or I had a handheld that plugged into my iPhone that I held up to their mouth that way I was able to cut out all the background noise or at least some of the background noise you don't always want to do that it's not the most convenient thing and so for something like that that's where the Shure Motive MV88 comes in this is a digital stereo condenser microphone that actually plugs right into the lightning connector on your iOS device it works really, really well. It is a really serious piece of equipment that is actually fairly simple to use, and it is what's actually recording the audio right now. MSRP is $149, so it's not inexpensive, but it's also not all that pricey. Uh, it's a fairly inexpensive way to actually up the audio quality on your iPhone or your iPad if you're shooting video. There are no settings, buttons, controls on the microphone itself, as we're gonna see when I unplug it in a minute, but rather all of the settings, and it is pretty configurable, are actually adjusted in a free downloadable app available in the App Store for iOS. It is the Motive app and it allows you to control the spread of the stereo, whether it's uh, stereo or mono. It allows you to control the gain, the equalization, DSP. It actually lets you control a great deal. Now you can only access the settings when the microphone is attached to the device because it actually sends those settings to the device so that you can then go out of the Motive app, go to the video app the way I have now, and record that way. So right now I'm in mono, and it's capturing that way, and I did this video once, but it was not quite loud enough, so I actually upped the gain on the microphone to make it a little bit louder. So let me unplug the microphone, and let's take a look at it. It's a small piece of serious equipment. Before I do, let me just run down what Shure has to say about the product. It delivers clear, high quality sound. The MV88 rotates for flexible positioning. That's ideal for video applications. It's great for live performances, interviews, to add audio to video for vocal and instrument recording. It's compatible with any iOS device so long as it has a lightning connector. It works with the Shure Plus Motive app, and that app allows you to control the gain, the equalization, the stereo width, and it has five DSP preset modes. It comes with a windscreen with a headphone adapter cable, so you can actually cut out the microphone controls when you're recording using the microphone, and a zippered carrying case, which is this. So let's take a look at the microphone itself. So this is it. It actually ships in, as I said, this nice carrying case. The carrying case is form-fitted to, to the microphone and it really protects it perfectly. When you want to use it, you simply unzip and it pulls right out. It has the windscreen on it so that, and the windscreen actually is nice and secure. It's not coming off. It's not going to get pulled off. We have a windscreen on the microphones that we use at my synagogue and I always end up brushing into them and they actually get pulled off in the middle of services sometimes. This is not going anywhere unless you actually want it off. It is made out of metal. It's, it's really a, a serious piece of equipment. It's pretty heavy. It's very, very solid. Um, you can see the lightning connector right here, and you can see there are the microphones here. Now, if you're recording and you actually want to get both you, the recorder, and the person you're interviewing, they recommend that you actually extend it like this. You have one microphone going this way, the other this way, and you set it to stereo so it's going to capture both sides of the recording. For using it alone, I actually set it to mono and point it toward me and it records that way. And as I said, there are no uh, buttons, controls, nothing on the microphone itself. All of that is done in the app when the microphone is connected to the iOS device you're going to be recording with. So you do want to have the app downloaded. Now, it's not all perfect. Um, the lightning connector is relatively short. And what I found was, for example, this is my iPhone 6 Plus. When I'm using the Oloclip Studio, which is a fabulous case and system for using your iPhone for pictures and for video, unfortunately, 
it's too thick down here and the lightning connector can't get close enough to the iPhone itself to actually work. So what I found is I had to actually take the case off of the iPhone when I wanted to use the microphone. In fact, right now, I don't have any case on the iPhone 6S that I'm using to record this because I wanted to be using this microphone. Now, is it a failing on the part of Shure with the lightning connector? Is it a failing on the part of the case manufacturers? Yes. Um, it really, we're not at a point yet when all accessories and all cases are able to actually work together, and that's a shame. I would have liked if there were a control here so you could raise or lower the lightning connector, or I would have liked to have the case have a, a larger run. But the fact of the matter is, in order to get this large, you would have had to have all of this able to get in. You actually would have had to have a fairly large opening right here in the case, which would have left the phone a little more vulnerable to the elements. So it's, uh, it's a bummer. It's not a huge deal, but it is something to be aware of that a lot of cases are not going to work with this microphone. You're going to have to take it off. So let me put it back on. And it simply plugs right lightning connector and what I really like about this is it's a really small compact system if you put your phone onto a handle a monopod something like that you can walk around and actually record audio and video really easily and it's not all that obtrusive I do have a uh, a shotgun microphone that I can actually plug into my iPhone but it's really large it's really noticeable this is a lot less noticeable it does a great job of recording it is solidly built the settings are actually done, as I said, in the app, which is really convenient so that you don't have to worry about whether or not you readjusted the toggles and the buttons on the microphone. On other microphones, I have bumped some of the buttons and not gotten the recording that I wanted. With this, you actually set it in the app, then you go out of the app, and it's not going to change until you go into the app and you change it again with the microphone connected. So that's really what this is all about. It's about upping the audio quality that you able to get when you record either audio or video and audio using an iOS device. It has an MSRP of $149. We're going to have details. We're going to have a look at the various settings in the app, and we're going to have a little more of our thoughts on using this over in the full review on Gear Diary. That's GearDiary.com. Before you leave this channel, do us a favor if you would and subscribe to our channel. We would be most appreciative if you would do so. This is Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching. Wow.